Good morning, everybody. It's Lisa Baker here at So Indipitous. Happy Friday morning. Whoop, whoop. So this morning, I have a great collection to share with you guys. It is called Seasons by Figo. It is just a great, lovely collection. It is perfect to add a pop of color into any quilt you're going to do. It is just great blenders, coordinates, however you want to word it. It is going to be perfect to match, uh, mix and match into any of your projects. And it is just a great collection to grab some of the colors or maybe all of the colors and add it into your stash because they will go with anything. Good morning, Miss Melissa. How are you? You're always kind of like my first pop on every morning. I can always count on you usually to be here with me. So real quick, I'm going to flip the camera and let's just get right to it. Hold on. Here we go. Like I said, it is called Seasons by Figo. It feels amazing. Like I said, this is a great collection um, that is just going to be perfect to pull in with any of your fabrics in your stash. I see you laughing at me, Melissa. So this first one is just a great yellow. Um, hopefully it is coming across pretty good. I think with this white paper, you're getting that true yellow. It's just a nice, bold yellow. You've got these um, little white splatters um, going across through it. I say splatters. They're not really splatters. We'll call them dit dits. How about that? Little white dit dits. So this is perfect. You can slice and dice it any way you want. It's going to be great. So here is a great black in this collection. It just has random, they almost like look like birds to me. I know they're kind of plus signs, but it looks like birds as they fly in their little groupings throughout the sky. But just a great uh, black and, um, like I said, with those little, I'm going to call them birds. It looks like they're gray to me on there. Really nice. Here is a gray print, a real nice, uh, subtle gray, if you will. To me, this does, uh, gray does not read with the blue hues. Um, it truly is just a good base gray. Now you see all of those little funky stars in there. Some has the little dots in them and some does not. Um, but really, really nice. Like I told you, this collection has a good modern feel as well. If you're into modern quilting, these would be a great addition for you. So here we go with some uh, dotty dots. We've got them there in solids. You've got them where they're sketched out. And then you've got little ones floating in there. This is a really nice blue. That's pretty true to color right there. Absolutely love that. Here we have this uh, print. This is in like a steel gray. Let me put the light gray next to it for comparison. And then also then there is the black. So you can kind of see the different shades of that. But a really nice steel gray. It is the same print as the blue with all the different dotty dots that are um, just nicely done in this. I like how sporadic they are. Nothing that is going to read as in Oh, this is how the pattern should go. Now we're back with another gray, and this is those white, and I call them the dip dits, but I'm going to pull that charcoal gray back. You can see the light gray and then the black. So you've got four different shades here going in those, um, like I said, blacks to the lights to the medium and the darker still gray. Now, we've seen this print a while ago with the black. Here it is. This is a deep red. Now, I will tell you, I'm looking at it on the camera, and it is showing up as a bright, bright red, but truly it is a deep red. And once again, it's those plus signs that to me looks like birds waxing and waning on the fabric. Absolutely love here you have that same print that is showing up really lime orange. There you go. That is more true to color. Um, the other one was bright, bright. This one here screams to me a great witch's face. Uh, of course, I always think of green for witch's face because of Wizard of Oz. But um, really liking this. This would match in great with your Halloween projects. If you're wanting to put that splash of spooky green in there, as I like to call it. This is one of my favorite colors. Let me see. There you go. So it's not like a blue blue. I'm maybe a tidal pool blue. Maybe I've heard it called. Just really yummy once again with those dots. Big and small. 
Here we have it in the white background with the beige dotty dots in different sizes. We're back to the dit dits. I don't know any other word to call that, but they're, they're dit dits. This is in like a coral pinkish color, really pretty. Here we are with some orange, absolutely love. You got those stars back, and like I said, you've got the solid stars or the stars that um, are hollow in the middle. Now we're coming into some purple. We know we got some purple lovers here at Sewendipitous. That is just a yummy, rich purple. And like I said, you've seen this print before. It is that plus signs. Like I said, to me, it looks like birds flying in the distance. Yummy, yummy bubblegum pink. I absolutely love it. I see some thumbs up going up for that. I'm probably sure it was for the purple. But anyway, here we have our pink stars. Now, here is just a yummy nutmeg color. Like I said, guys, these are just perfect to have in your stash when you just need a cool blender to throw in any project, whether it's your quilt, maybe a bag or tote you're doing. Um, just really great. Black, white together is so yummy. Once again, we have the circles. The other black print we had was the one that was like the plus signs that looks like birds. So there's your second black print for this collection. Here is a true navy blue with some lighter blue stars in it. Absolutely love. Really nice. Now, we've seen a while ago the white background with the uh, beige dotty dots. Here we have it with the grays. Next, this one is going to be a fan favorite, I have no doubt. It's the white background with those stars, and of course, it's in all multiple colors. This will go well for any project, pretty much. Absolutely lovely. Here we are. This is a more true red with some stars on it. Absolutely, once again, I love it. I love all of these. This next one is so cute. It is almost a uh, butternut squash, if you will, yellowish color, and that's the plus signs and the star, uh, the birds, I call them. Next, you got the blue with the divvy dits. There you go. Really nice tone on tone there. I like that. We've got it in the green. It's a little more, there you go. That's more true to color. It's a deeper green. And then we've got that same color in this magenta fuchsia color. There you go. And then, of course, let's go back to the purples. It's lilac. There you go. And then there you've got a nice wine color, like a little Merlot going on, guys. Absolutely love it. And then we've back to stars, and this is in a really nice green. Um, let me see if I can pull that other green back just so you can compare the two greens because definitely, there you go. Let me lay that. That's more true to color. Definitely darker, and then this one is like a medium green, if you will. And last but not least, you've got turquoise. Who doesn't love turquoise? And you've got it in the dotty dots. Guys, I will tell you once again, just look at the folded yumminess. The colors are just so pretty. I think showing them this way, you really can kind of see true colors on those. So fun. Good morning, Miss Patsy. How are you? I hope you're doing well. Guys, thank you for tuning in this morning to look at these. Like I said, look at your stash and think about what color am I missing? What color do I need to add in? Or maybe you just want them all. We've got them here for you at Sewendipitous. And um, just pop on in and see us. We are open this Sunday for our Shop Hop Sunday. It is our last Sunday for this year's Shop Hop. We will be open from 12 to 4. So if you are bored, uh, come and see us on Sunday. Or maybe you want to start a new project, just pop on in and we will definitely take care of you. I love the hearts. Good morning, Miss Diane Cork. Yes, the dotty dots. Scream Diane Cork for sure. Guys, thanks for all the thumbs up and the hearts. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to pop online and uh, look about the airing of the quilts. Um, we want to make sure you guys get all of that information. And we do have the forms available for you um, so you can submit for your quilts. 
Um, please let me know if you want to put a quilt two or three into the airing of the quilts this December for Christmasville. We are making plans for that now. We count on you guys to like, you know, really show up, put your quilts out there, let the community see all of your hard work that is so beautiful and yummy. Hopefully it will inspire somebody. Guys, for now, this is Lisa Baker at Soma Dipitous, where unexpected happiness is found in every stitch. Be blessed and have a good day.